All right, so in today's episode, we brought in Amber Wilkerson. She handles our social media for not only our business and um, here at Sport of Business, but also seven, eight, and nine-figure sectors of nine-figure companies. So we brought you in to talk social media, but it's going to kind of throw a wrench in your game here. I'm not going to talk to you about how you post for seven, eight, nine-figure companies because pretty much, correct me if I'm wrong, they can get you whatever you need for the mm-hmm. most part. The thing with the small business owners is the confusion with Facebook and the death of the business pages and all of that, you know. Mm-hmm. They get on Facebook and they don't know where to share the content. Mm-hmm. So Facebook, everybody's there. Right. So do we share it on a business page? Do we share it in a group? Do I put it on my personal profile? And I think it definitely is different for every person. Sure. But what's your take on that? Well, I think that... Everyone wants the secret. Mm -hmm. And we have Facebook, for the most part, giving exactly what they want you to do. And they will come out and tell you, we want Facebook for community. Mm -hmm. We want it to be a community, um, you know, a community product that's based on building connection. So the logical response there is Facebook groups, Mm -hmm. right? Facebook groups and personal profiles. I'll tell you right now, I think business pages are going to go away. I think that they will become watch pages similar to what a YouTube channel looks like. I think that that is the future of what a business page will be. Secondly, everyone, again, wants the secret. The best damn Facebook product I've ever seen is what? Do you know? I don't remember. Sent by Facebook. Facebook wrote it. Oh, yeah. It's facebook.com slash what business Mm -hmm. where they have the exact courses. Every course that you need, Facebook and other platforms do the same thing. Those are going to be the absolute best platform. If you want to know how to grow on social media, that is your ticket. They're telling you, they make the rules, and they're telling you what the rules are and how to, how to win. Same with Instagram. They have an Instagram blog It's well. incredible. But the problem is, and, well, you know, and then now people are probably wondering, well, why, why do I create products? Because they're specific to a, a goal within that program. Mm-hmm. Leads, sales, customers. You know, Instagram's not going to teach you how to remove people from Instagram mm-hmm. and turn them into leads, customers, etc. cetera. Um, but they're going to show you how to grow. So you can still, don't get me wrong, there's still great products out there that, will te- that teach you how to get leads and sales and customers. But I will never buy a product on how to grow my Instagram audience or how to grow my Facebook audience or how to grow my YouTube audience because they already exist mm-hmm. and they're, they're coming straight from the creator. Then instead of putting your money there, put it into training on how to turn that audience that you're growing into lead sales customers. Okay, now that they've you know, created their content, they have an accountability partner, they are they figured out where their audience is and where they're going to put the content. Mm-hmm. Another problem that most business owners come across is they're not consistent. Sure. They post once a week mm-hmm. and are wondering why. Yep. Why am I not getting leads? Why are people not liking and engaging with my stuff? Well, people aren't seeing it. It's what, 10% of your audience sees your post and the rest, you know, the rest of the 90% aren't going to see it if they're only pushing it to 10% of your audience. So exactly. And that's, it's always the platform's fault. It is never the creator's (laughs) fault. It's never the, you know, the publisher's fault. It's always the algorithm is trying to screw me. The algorithm is wrong. Uh, People aren't seeing my content. The truth of the matter is, and we have the numbers to prove it, we get over a billion views organically a year um, for free on our social media. And the reason that we are able to do that is we put out good shit. Mm -hmm. And we put out shit with, simply the goal is to put out shit people actually like, want to engage with, and want to share. It's really all there, there is to it. And putting it out at a frequency that Facebook wants. Right. Because think about it from a, from a platform standpoint. Let's use YouTube, for example. If you put out one incredible video once every one to six months, why in the hell would YouTube continue to want to share your content knowing that you're not going to take a step to bring people back? But if you show three great videos a week 
or two great videos a week consistently, and YouTube over time sees three months in that, hey, wait a minute, they put out great content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and they've done that for six weeks straight. Who would YouTube rather send more traffic to? Because YouTube's playing the future game. Mm-hmm. Hey, if I send traffic to these people and they have, you know, this traffic turns into subscribers, are they going to continue to create content to bring these viewers back to the platform? That's what they're putting their, their money into. So it has to be based off of quality frequency, not even for your audience, but for the platform. Mm-hmm. What's the platform want? Make it so the platform is happy and you win. I think that's what people confuse is like the AI and the algorithm are way smarter than you and I. Mm. And it's, on, it's like a relationship. Sure. You have to build trust. I love it. I love when people think that they figured out how to uh, beat the algorithm or, oh, I've got a hack. Bullshit. Mm-hmm. It knows so much more than you know. It's not even close. Um, but saying that, thank you so much for taking your time out of the day. Now you can go back and crush it for the people you crush it for. And saying that, thank you so much for watching. I hope, you, I hope this was helpful. I think there's a lot of information out there that doesn't speak to um, you know, the fears, the insecurities, and growing some, in, a, in a way that maybe you haven't done before. So thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor. If this is beneficial, give it a like. Give it a subscribe. We put out videos every week, and the whole goal here is to help you. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's video. Do me a favor, if this resonated with you, if you liked it, give it a like uh, down below. Also comment, let me know what questions you may have within your business or even what you thought of today's video. Um, And lastly, if you want, give us a subscribe. We put out videos every single week. And I would love for you to continue to watch our content and let us know what you think. I appreciate you. Last question, if you suddenly became a master at woodworking, what would you make? Let's get right into it. What's your name? Adam, Blake Nogger. How often do you play sports?